I'm Mikhail Theron. I'm an artist and I show at Gross McLeaf. And you not only have a new body of work, but you have a new body. I do. I have a new baby. <laughs> What's his name? His name is Maximo. All right, here we go. Here's the older brother. What do you think of this new baby? I think it's pretty good. How about the artwork? Artwork? My mom's artwork? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, like I think it. so too. And you're still keeping up yours? Yeah, I'm making swords. Good, good. Mm -hmm. The world always needs more swords. <laughs> more swords. <laughs> As a filmmaker, one of my most enjoyable projects to work on is a movie I made two years ago about Mika and her talented family. So it was great to catch up with them again and get a good look at Mika's dazzling new show. How do you get such a wonderful group of paintings while having a baby? looks impossible. I started making them early because I anticipated the baby was going to come out and I was going to be tired. So this is a group that I've been working on for the last two years. And then after I had the baby, when I had spare moments, would work on some. It seems like you're pushing more into fabric. Still, there's paint, but it's more collage. Yes, a lot of mixed media, a lot of soft materials have gone into these. So a lot of like the cloth and the fabric are repurposed or recycled from old clothes or things that had sentimental value to me that I didn't want to throw out. Also, just different materials like sequins, glitter, things that I respond to and are fun. And I wanted to put them in to add joy to the painting. So... You're the kind of artist who wears your emotions on your sleeve, and these do seem very emotional. What's going on? I'm an emotional person. <laughs> I think we all are, and we're trained to put other people's comfort first. And for me, that's something like when I grew up, I was always conscious of, and the older I got, kind of the less I cared about what other people thought and more that I needed to center myself and my emotions and process them. And I think in art, it started to happen there first. And now as an adult, I feel like I can express my emotions fairly well. Um, but art was the first place where I was allowed and permitted to do that. So I think it definitely shows there in my paintings. You're such an improviser visually, not only with the materials, but with the compositions. Is that a really important part of your artistic identity to try to forge new paths? Not so much forging new paths, but maybe allowing myself to go where the painting wants to go and where my emotions want to go. I don't always know where something will end up. I know that it's there. I know that I need to process it. And through the work making it, I learn more about it. So for me, the ability to have a variety of materials to express what I'm trying to say or to have a range of language that I'm trying to use to speak with the viewer is helpful. Now, Mo is a very good artist. Has Max, I know he's only an infant, but has he started to make little scribblings? On his diaper. <laughs> he started scribbling in his diaper. <laughs> I bet they are very interesting. Yeah, yeah, some would say, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Are you working on one of your diaper artworks <laughs> that have been praised? Oh, masterpiece. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Mika. Oh, one final thing. How's the Thorin Passion family? Oh, we're doing good. We're thriving and just enjoying life. You're trying to take time moment by moment and the expanded family. It's like uh, a gorilla, kind of, because he screams a lot. Yeah. We're still making art. You know, we're just enjoying life. Excellent. You still have your day job. I do, but I'm on maternity leave, so, which oh. is pretty lovely. <laughs> if you need a little psychic pickup, like I often do, go see Mika Thurin's life-affirming show at Gross McLeaf.
the joyfulness of her art is hard won, and to me, that's why it's so profoundly moving. Mika understands all too well that the world is not without its sorrows, and her quest for joy and beauty is like a prayer. <laughs>